In this video, I'll share with you seven uh, different types of Indian exhibitors uh, who attend uh, conferences, seminars, events, and how they behave with women. Okay, so this I've taken from uh, female, female friends and clients who actually work in these events, exhibitions and primarily based in Dubai. Okay, so you tell me which one you can relate to and which one, which one among these are, is the best or the worst or the most unbelievable one. Okay, so the first one <laughs> is really funny, man. Okay, the first one is, uh, you, you know, when, when females are there, normally, see, females, sometimes if it's a car exhibition, they'll keep a cute looking females dressed up in like a cosplay or super tight, uh, kind of like, you know, NASCAR you know, all those females just like models or skimpy outfits or they'll dress up like, you know, pretty girls like this, like this. Okay. So if a female is dressed up like that and you ask for a photo, it's understandable. Okay. They will wear a nice, I don't know, what do you call that? Roche? No. Uh, banner, Samsung or, uh, you know, Motorola or whatever the company's name. And, uh, you know, you can take a photograph with them eh, provided you behave decently, no touching. Okay, fine. <laughs> but and I've also done that if you check my if you've been friends with me on Facebook you'd know that when I was attending these exhibitions I used to ask females politely and they would also ask me because obviously tattooed and dressed up you know all this Dracula and all that stuff okay but this friend of mine was at this exhibition she told me that uh, these guys are asking her for photos okay photographs and they want to pose with her. So I told her, what is, you know, like you're in a public event. So she said, Loy, no, you don't understand. This is not a public event. This is a like very premier event where select businessmen are called. And uh, it's like uh, heads of companies. And so people, you know, from India who are heads of companies, big shots. Okay. I'm not saying that all big shots behave like this, but you know, owners of companies, businessmen, decision makers. So uh, out of curiosity, I asked her, show me your photograph, how, like how were you dressed? And she showed me. She was dressed up like a, like a C-level executive, like formals, strictly formals, suit and this and that. And she looked really elegant. Okay, professional. So I said, uh, then why are they asking for a boy? She said, they not only ask for photographs, some of them, I can I can I take a photo with you? Say, for what? Like photo with me for what? No, no. I just want to take photo with you and uh, this thing. No, you can take a photograph. I'll take your photograph if you want. Standing here, I'm not going to stand with you in the photograph. So, okay. Now that is bearable. What is not bearable is just imagine you're standing there and a guy standing is taking a photo like this with you at the background. Now, isn't it obvious that you're trying to take her in the photo? So what she used to do is she used to just turn, turn and show her back. The minute she found out that this guy is doing that. And uh, <laughs> if you thought that was shameless enough, there are people who will take their phone and they'll act as if they're taking a video. And when she's standing, they'll take it like this and, and she would just turn around and she's like, at least have some manners. She's like, so many times I felt like going up to them, excuse me, you know, delete this bloody, the same, same, but I'm representing the company, so I can't say anything. She said, I told my manager, he's like, anytime anyone acts funny, just uh, come and call me. Okay. Now, this was one. The second one, where are Indian, and remember, the majority of the cases are Indians, because I guess our population highest is Indians, or uh, I don't know, they're targeting Indians. I don't know what it is. I asked, I asked almost all of them, any other nationality behaves like this? She said, no, it's primarily our Indians only. I don't know, you can tell me otherwise. Okay. The second one, which is unbearable, is a body odor. Oh, goodness. She said, Lloyd, when they walk up to me, immediately I get the smell of those, that stench of armpits. And she said, it kind of reminds me when you would go in uh, India because Obviously, some of them are from India. So when you go to BST buses or trains and you'd meet all these people stinking and smelling where you, you get numb. She's saying, just the guy walks up to you 
and when the minute he says hi she saying it's just like a oh, someone opened the toilet door and just someone had a blast of like the sewage she saying sometimes i wanted to puke saying i just didn't know how to i was like oh i need to get out of here so <laughs> i well in in one way i don't blame them because they're walking the whole day they are in a hot climate the bodies are not adapted but personal hygiene and grooming man come on no ex no excuse for that and especially when they're wearing those heavy suits it's it's like farting in under a blanket and keeping the fart over there you know how that is <laughs> okay so the second one was the ones are stinky smelly and the worst one is with the sweat patches on their shirt ah. and this one was not primarily indian it was foreigners also because they don't wear a banyan so it looks ugly she said the minute i see someone like this i just walk the other direction okay then the third one was this was also really seriously unbearable uh they start talking to the female and next thing you know uh, can you give me your number so just imagine even if you're a model there number for what ah uh, no no i just want to keep in touch i if i have any questions so my this friend said yeah you can contact the landline and ask for the department that you wish to speak or you can send an email we'll forward your queries what i would have suggested was to say regarding what and if it's a company i would have gone and called the manager and said uh, mr so and so this man here wants my uh, phone number because he wants uh, something related to the company i thought maybe you could best help him yes please you can ask him what question you have that would embarrass them like crazy but anyway i guess my friend was not very aggressive so primarily maybe because you know you're representing a brand okay now number 4 is where the guy is talking to you and this has happened and i've seen it okay and the guy is speaking has an erection not joking and it's not like you know your well endowed package you know indians have a normal package <laughs> this guy wasn't even aware his was bulging like it was not like standing like stiff you could make out it was pretty hard so what i did in that exhibition was i went and uh, you know they were talking this girl was uncomfortable she had sent a colleague to call me because it was my stand so i went and told the guy and i did this huh? because i was in charge of this brand uh, and this was like a open public for i said uh, i think you have some malfunction down there the minute he looked he was so embarrassed he, he just ran <laughs> ran off and everyone burst out laughing he ran off he didn't come back uh, i you know i was very protective about the girls my this thing ah uh, then where are we number 5 okay this one was uh, uh this one uh, a female told me she saying when i'm talking to these guys their eyes instead of talking like face to face or they'll keep looking down at your breast like you you can make out the eyes like like they'll be looking at the breast and talking and so this particular friend of mine she is from europe uh, so she would say excuse me my eyes are here you know she she would tell them on the face she didn't give a fuck about these guys oh okay and they would be embarrassed and that's a good idea and i found this out when i was 19 or something uh when a girl told me where are you looking like a woman told me where are you looking i'm like her oh. then i eventually asked her, like how did you know i was looking down she saying it's obvious and she was more like a like you know chill pill she was saying we she explained to me a peripheral vision and men are like this like they keep going linear so that's why i trained myself to have peripheral vision okay so <laughs> then number 6 is uh, when these indian guys come to talk and all that you know they put their hand in their pocket when they are talking and they are scratching their ball sack or they are adjusting their underwear or <laughs> what are you doing man you can make out your bulge in the pocket it just means say 
Like, I put... <laughs> what are you doing, man? Oh, and she's like, oh, she's like, uh, the female, I, I don't know where to look. I was like, look up. <laughs> and she was like, I just wanted it to end. And um, you would say the, the last, the final seventh one was, uh, you know, you talk to someone nicely. Okay, think you're doing your job nicely. And then he takes this politeness as you are interested in that person. And that person will not stop. He will come once, then second time, uh, smile, third time again, smile. And then you begin to wonder, why the fuck are you taking rounds here? Like, what the hell is this? So, this particular female uh, told me, this particular guy, when he started doing this, she just, uh, what she did is, she got her colleagues. So every time he was passing by, all said, hey, hi, uh, not female colleagues, male and female, everyone. Hmm. So, at first he thought, hey, they all like me, but eventually he realized they were all mocking him. So, then he stopped. So, he understood, oh, they are not uh, attracted to my amazing personality. Hmm. And anyway, since I'm speaking about Indians, let me end with a mistake that I did. Okay, since you are, yeah. since you've been watching so long. Uh, the mistake that I did was, during my exhibition days, was not, uh, I didn't behave indecently with females or ask their number. Or, the mistake that I did was, when I was dressed up in Halloween costumes for these exhibitions to get attention, I made the mistake of scaring some females. Okay, I used to scare females and uh, there are some of these brands which have, like, you know, snobbish females. Some took it as a joke, but these Lebanese and all that and then they would scare they would scream so loud and then uh, you know I Where I realized uh, this was backfiring was when two three guys came very angry like you know as if wanting to fight I was like oh bloody hell uh, This joking shocking is no longer fun and I didn't want you know obviously it's me at fault so I didn't want a drama so I stopped my that gimmick That was the only I would say a mistake that I did, which I regret in exhibitions. So overall, these were some of the embarrassing incidents. Now, you know, the problem why our Indian men behave like that, I guess it's because of, you know, lack of experience, exposure, and the fact that uh, when they go out, they know that nobody knows who they are. So they can do just about anything. But what they fail to realize is, there are surveillance cameras today, people can record your behavior and publicly you can be named and shamed and that will destroy your reputation forever. So overall, these were the incidents. Let me know, what do you think? So it looks like our Indian men, they don't just spoil your name as tourists. Now they have started to do exhibitions also. So, anyway, let me know if uh, you have anything to say, agree, disagree, or maybe an experience yourself. Like I told you, we are not perfect, but sometimes you need common sense here. Yeah. Alright, guys take care. It's me signing off.